welcome back to another video and today we're doing a review on a recent release from Atheron's HO Scale Genesis line. Uh, as you can see it is the Union Pacific gas turbine and it comes in this well presented uh, cardboard box and just taking a look at it it is pretty standard for the Genesis line uh, but of course it is uh, quite large considering the uh, locomotive inside. Um, of course it comes with the 75th anniversary uh, sticker here or logo. Um, other than that we'll just take a look at the sticker. As you can see Union Pacific number 70 and we have a drawing of the turbine itself. Um, and yeah this locomotive comes with Tsunami Sound uh, 2. So, other than that, I don't believe there's too much else to the exterior uh, of this box. So, we'll open it right up. Should just slip from under. Do take quite a bit of time to open. Um, hopefully, I can get it open. go all right so straight away we have a booklet describing the veranda turbine uh, so it's got a little bit of history on these prototypical locomotives and inside we have an exploded diagram of the model it's a bit hard to see uh, there you go. So if you're missing any parts, uh, you know which number it is. And yeah, on the back, once again, it has a list of the parts, as well as a little bit for of information for the maintenance and DCC installation uh, if you buy the DC version. Um, other than that, a few other things uh, here for the tender. Once again, a list and diagram of all the parts. Then we have this little slip for the Atheron News. I believe this is the warranty. Yeah, there you go, one year limited warranty for Atheron products. And finally, but not least, the uh, operator's manual. So inside you get all that you would expect, information on your DC, DCC, uh, maintenance, CVs, functions, um, practically everything you would need to know about the model and how to operate it. Uh, so yeah, we'll just go straight into what comes under here, and there you go, spinning it around, we have both the turbine and tender in a plastic clamshell packaging so nice and safe and secure uh, and I expect these to be without any uh, damaged parts or anything missing uh, accessories wise we have this for the turbine uh, just some extra accessories like uh, we've got some ladders here uh, a bit of piping and I'm not too sure what this piece here is, but I would suppose this attaches to the prime mover. Um, and I will look further into what this is. Uh, but for now, we'll just move on. And um, I believe that's it. So we will open these up and take a closer look at them. So as you can see, we've removed both the tender and prime mover from the packaging. Uh, quickly, we're just going to look at the details uh, and just have an up-close glimpse of these um, models and then uh, put them onto the track and see how they run. Uh, so we'll start with the turbine itself. Uh, it comes with a plastic shell and die-cast chassis, so it has a fair bit of weight uh, and therefore probably a good amount of pulling power. Uh, the locomotive has uh, quite a lot of separately applied details, especially on the roof here. 
uh, and also a lot of um, pretty standard molded details such as your rivets. Um, of course you can see that this gas turbine is the iconic veranda uh, as it gets its name for this uh, walkway here uh, which looks like a veranda. Um, so yeah, it's a very iconic uh, looking turbine. Uh, other than that, there's not too much detail on the underbody. Uh, looking at the front, we've got uh, operating uh, number boards, micro lights, headlights, uh, a detailed uh, cabin, no cabin crew or firemen unfortunately, uh, but that's alright. Um, yeah, uh, KD coupler up on either end. Obviously, lots of the Union Pacific uh, logoing and lettering. Uh, from what I can see, the paint uh, appears to be quite good. And um, Athern are usually pretty good when it comes to the quality of their products, uh, like, a, like most uh, manufacturers these days. Um, but yeah, that's just a quick look at the turbine itself. Uh, we won't go too in depth with this review. Uh, and yeah, there you go. That's the turbine and just a little bit about it. Other than that, we have the uh, tender, uh, which is also plastic, you know, has a plastic shell and die cast chassis. So it also has a bit of weight. Um, but prior to this, uh, we will say we have already taken the liberty of installing a weight uh, just to give it that little bit more because um, Atherin have made these before and their tenders do tend to be, because they're so tall, they do tend to wobble a bit when they are uh, running on the track. So a little more weight uh, really keeps them stable. Uh, so we have taken the liberty of installing that. Uh, prior to running it, uh, but other than that, it has pretty standard detailing for a tender. Um, of course, it carries uh, gas. You got an operating rear head light there. Of course, uh, knucklehead coupler, um, and here is the plug, uh, which goes right under the rear of the uh, turbine unit. And yeah, just a fair bit of detail, nothing too special, as you can see. Uh, but yeah, they do look pretty good. And um, yeah, I'm pretty keen to see how these uh, run on the track. So I don't think we'll waste any more time, and we'll just go straight to it.
So overall, um, after running and having this locomotive uh, just do a few laps, uh, we think Atheron has done a good job, uh, I believe, with this second iteration of the uh, Veranda Gas Turbine. Um, it is a must-have for our uh, layout, uh, so we really do love uh, this type of turbine, and yeah, Atheron did a pretty good job. Um, prior to running this, when we first put it on the track, we did have a bit of an issue with the Tsunami Sound decoder, um, with the uh, numbering, uh, because from factory it is defaulted to 03, and in the process of trying to set it to the number 70, uh, it did have a couple hiccups in trying to uh, set that. Uh, but it was pretty minor, no big issue, just a bit of resetting, and it was fixed. Uh, other than that, running-wise, um, pretty standard, as you w what you would expect with Atherin uh, and their uh, Genesis products. Uh, pretty smooth, doesn't really have any issues. Uh, so yeah, we are pretty happy, and it is definitely what you can expect uh, from Atherin. Uh, so yeah. Details are great. The sound is particularly good. Um, Tsunami does a really good job with their sounds, and the speakers are quite loud. So we are definitely happy with that. Um, and yeah, it does pull a fair bit of weight from what we can, or what you may have seen. Not a super long train, but it definitely pulled it around like it was weightless. So yeah, we're very, very happy uh, with this gas turbine. And I think it's definitely a recommendable product if you are interested in this sort of locomotive and era of the Union Pacific. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Um, if you liked it, give us a like, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you in the next one.